everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing a, another gel polish set for you um i've chosen some colors that i'm going to be using from nailchemy which i will show you in a minute um i've got some glitters from nail sugar the first one is called stardust this one is a fine silver holographic glitter which is a staple for any glitter collection in my honest opinion and then I've got these stars, they're like lens flare stars, silver holographic stars, they're really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to be using those. Um, and I've got my um, Born Pretty Ombre brush. So, the first colour I'm using is called Witch Hazel. I'm going to place this at the cuticle area of the nail. What was that? Oh, my! guess who gets that iPad back today? Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> It's, it's really sad how much I've missed it. Um, right, so I've got violet at the bottom, witch hazel at the top, and I'm going to use my ombre brush to blend the colours together. Now, I have, um, I've kind of skipped and fast forwarded a lot in this video, but at the end of this video, I'm going to put a link to my live that i done last week. Um, doing gel polish ombres so you can just see how I do gel polish ombres in real time and hopefully you'll find that useful so I'll put that at the end of the video so you can just watch this one first if you want or you can just skip and go and find it now <laughs> so I this is my first layer so don't worry if you're not too happy with your first layer because you're going to go in with the second coat anyway so again I'm going to repeat the process which hazel goes at the top And then obviously violet goes at the bottom. And um, if you do want to purchase any Nailchemy gel polishes, I will have their um, their link will always be in the description box of my videos, um, along with you know the main the main brands that I use. Um, and there's also a link to the US distributor for Nailchemy. But the same thing applies with the US distributor with Deb's website. You still need to be qualified to purchase Nelchemy from the from the US distributor. Um, so just just be aware um, that you, you do still need to be qualified. OK, so we're going to do the marble part now. So I'm putting a little bit of honeydew melon. I love this color. A little bit of apple blossom. And then it was supposed to be a little bit of salt stone, but I ended up with a bloody great blob of it. I didn't do I didn't do this very well. Look, oh god. And then I use a dotting tool just to blend the marble the colours together a bit. And I went I went a little bit over the top here. This is blended a little bit too much, not blended, uh, mixed a little bit too much for my for my liking. So I'm gonna work from top left to bottom right. I'm scooping the colour up with my ombre brush. If you've got a gel brush, you can do it with a gel brush. I'm just using my ombre brush because that's the brush that I had to hand. And I was a little bit worried that I'd put this on. Um, I was worried that the gel was too thick, like in the middle. So I was trying just to spread it out a little bit because I it, it didn't. But I was worried that it was going to wrinkle in the lamp. So I was just trying to just sort of you know push the sides out a little bit and I didn't want to completely cover the blend I want you to still be able to see the ombre so I think I left it like that I, I wasn't too I wasn't yeah I, I yeah in the end I was happy with it but I the the other on um, the other oh god what am I on about the other marble the, the marble now that I done I wasn't too happy with see look you can still see the ombre behind the marble so I've covered the these two nails, the two ombre marble nails, I'm covering with velvet matte top coat, okay? Um, all the other nails are going to be shiny. So we've got a mix of matte and shiny in this set. I've put a little bit of non-wipe top coat on my palette. And then down the side of the marble nail, I'm just going to put a little bit of the top coat down both sides. Because we're going we're gonna to sugar this. So this doesn't, you don't have to follow it perfectly as long as you've just got like a squiggle down the, the side. And then I'm going to use the Stardust Glitter. I've got a tray to catch the excess glitter. And then just literally sprinkle it all over the nail. Not where well, you don't have to do it all over, but you know, where the top coat is. Tap the nail off before you pop it in the lamp, just to 
get off some of that excess glitter i cure it for slightly over the curing time if i sugar so um i this the um nail Kami gel polishes and top coats cure for 30 seconds so i just leave it in for a few more seconds just to make sure that that light has fully penetrated through the glitter and then we're left with this it's got like a, a sugared edge um it was a little bit thicker than i had i had originally anticipated but actually i really liked how thick it turned out it was like a happy mistake <laughs> if you don't want it that thick you can use one of their um actually the the first nail i done um that i was i was having a bit of a nail play the first nail i done i went down this sides with fool's gold gel polish which is a gold which is a gold um like a gold glittery gel polish with some silver hollow bits in it and that looked really nice it looked really nice with gold but today i wanted to stick with um i wanted to stick with the holographic silver today so this nail i'm gonna we're basically doing the same thing only we're using like the we're doing the opposite with the opposite colors so um honeydew melon at the top apple blossom at the bottom so on the first nail this was our marble colors now it's going to be our ombre colors so again two coats cure each coat for 30 seconds i do cut out some of the footage but as i said before i will leave the link to the live. i think i said this i'll leave the link to the live that i done gel polishes on at the end of the video so you can go and check out hopefully there's some tips in there for you to get a nice gel polish ombre so for the marble part with we're, we're now going to go um we're now going to put some <laughs> Uh, I can't get my words out sometimes. Um, witch hazel, a bit of violet. I think violet has got to be my favourite at the moment. Oh god, I bloody love it. And then some salt stone. I didn't put as much salt stone salt stone on this time, which was a bonus because I didn't mean for it to all plop out. I don't know I do it. I feel like I, I went a little bit more careful this time putting the gel polish on because all that gel polish on the first marble I've wasted. I ended up throwing it away and um, I hate waste. So yeah, so I, this time the first marble went from left to right. This time I'm going to go from right down to left. I didn't like this one so much. This was... I didn't yeah I wasn't completely happy with this so I was doing this and then I was looking at it thinking no it's just too straight like the sides were too straight so in a minute I do add some like knobbly bits to the outs to the edges and again I still want to be able to see that that ombre that blend underneath so I don't want to go too thick with the marble you can play with it like i'm doing here you just don't want to overplay because the colors will just like i was like no that's too straight the lines are too too straight so i tried to add a knobbly bit here <laughs> you can't see and a knobbly bit the other side i'm out of shot god there we go and then again we're going to go over with the velvet matte top coat now that is fully cured I like to hold it upside down for a little bit just so that it levels out the yeah it's me just being fussy um so again i'm going to go down the sides with the non-wipe top coat and then i will sugar it again cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds and we have got two beautiful nails i love these nails so much i can't tell you so for the the next two nails i'm gonna go in with two coats this is actually the second coat of honeydew melon that i've put on i love watching oh, I love i love watching people put gel polish on tips i don't know what it is i just find it quite therapeutic and look at that shiny smooth finish oh, i bloody love it um and then the second of the two now the second of the two now so this is like the fourth nail um i'm gonna put two coats of violet on i am denied between the violet and witch hazel but i went with violet because witch hazel is quite dark and it's oh my god it's such a lovely day today the sun's out it's so nice um yeah i thought violet was more springy i thought it was more apt for this time of year 
Um, I'm going to put some of these lens flares in a glitter tray just so that I can get to the sizes that I want more easily. And then I'm going to take some base coat. I actually need to buy some more of this base coat. I'll be glad to not be looking at a chewed up bottle, actually. <laughs> I'm going to put... I didn't actually have to cover the whole nail. I could have just put a little bit in the corner. Um, but I'm putting a, a whole layer of... A whole coat of base coat over this nail. So we're going to put the star, the lens flare stars into this. Now you could, if you want to, you could put it in your coloured coat, but because the stars that I want to use are quite small, I was worried that the gel polish might cover up the stars a bit. It might not have done, but I just to stop that from happening, I thought I will cure them into some base coat, which is obviously clear, so we will still see those stars perfectly. So I'm going to pop those into the lamp. Just three little stars in the corner. I don't want to go over the top. And then I've put base coat on this nail as well. And I'm going to put the stars in the opposite corner here. So the, the whole set is basically like... Um, it's like... Um, it's sort of mirroring. It, uh, I'm so rubbish, aren't I? At explaining. It's like a almost not even is it symmetrical i don't know because it's not quite symmetrical but yeah okay so now the these two nails we're going to go over with non-white top coat i had to think about what it was then non-white top coat see we need these we need this to be non-white top coat the shiny one because hollow or anything hollow doesn't look good velvet matte top coated because it loses its hollow if you if it's just metallic it's fine in my opinion because sometimes the metallic looks like it's brushed metal it looks really nice but you can't velvet matte top coat anything that's hollow in my opinion <laughs> so this last nail I'm putting one coat of salt stone. This is just going to be a base colour, so I'm not going to go in with two color, two coats because this is going to be completely covered anyway. We're going to do a sugared nail. Um, so the second, this this is basically non-wipe top coat now, and I'm not going to cure that yet. I'm going to sprinkle over the stardust glitter like this, and then I will pop it in the lamp to cure. And again, I will slightly over cure it because it's sugared just to make sure that the the um, the light is fully penetrated through the glitter to cure the gel. If you don't like sugared, you could burnish. I just thought because I sugared on the marble nails, I thought I'd sugar this one too. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp. When it comes out, I'm just going to use a hard brush to get off any excess glitter. And then I will show you the set in all its finished glory. I really like this set, actually. This is one of my favourite gel polish sets that I've done for a little while. <gasps> Isn't it pretty? Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to leave the link to Nail Sugar in the description box below. Um, if you want to get 10% off your order, you can do so using Natmark 10. And I will leave the UK and US um website for nail commute as well and um, if you did like this video please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i'll see you on thursday bye <laughs>